the inducer. I'll unlock some doors so you can make it back through operations. Travis Folsom, construction supervisor for the Exus Labs facility. We recently reached substantial completion on the facility's engineering sector and began work on the environmental systems sector early. At this rate, we should be able to impress the big boys up at Central Authority and score our reputation. Last week, I reviewed the construction documents and found another item where we can cut costs. My glass subcontractor mentioned the Moxum pressure seals for the exterior windows can be replaced with much cheaper Mixum seals. I submitted the alternative material selection to the base architect for review. On our Tuesday progress meeting, he argued the Mixum seals aren't up to spec. He complained that those seals are inferior and could cause air leaks or glass blowouts. Hey, guess what? I was building shit before he was born. Anyway, I managed to get the mix on seals ordered. I bypassed the architect and talked directly to corporate. I shall savings is that We'll be installing the exterior windows in environmental in a week, and he will never know the difference. I'm so convinced the glass and seals will hold up that I'm gonna take a rocket launcher and test it on. Awesome out.
This is Bernice Tooley, operations coordinator stationed in Exus Labs. I would like to file my third formal complaint to Central Authority about the problems with the work environment here in Exus. It has become increasingly difficult to be productive while construction is going on throughout the facility. The construction workers are rude, lack common courtesies, and are overtly sexist. They use our office space as an unauthorized shortcut and track dirt and debris as a result. In addition to their mess, they insist on drilling and hammering during our core staff hours. Some of them have repeatedly made inappropriate comments that clearly fall under sexual harassment. When I approached the construction supervisor to remedy the situation, he told me in no uncertain terms to mind my own business. Actually, his exact words were, don't worry your pretty little head about it. We are already on edge with the unexplained events occurring around the facility, and to add this insult to our tight schedule is too much to bear. If I cannot persuade Central Authority to take this complaint seriously, I'd like to remind them of Section 20, Paragraph 9 of UAC's Facility Regulations Code. It clearly states our employee rights, and we do not need this nonsense. I suggest you reprimand the individuals responsible and take adequate measures to ensure it doesn't happen again. Do not make me log additional complaints. <sighs> Bernice Tooley, signing off. Excellent. You're back. The inducer is working perfectly, and the teleporter is ready for transport. Here's the situation. There's a teleporter outpost in the other dimension, and it's still operational. It's very powerful, and it has a range that could lead those demons all the way to Earth. I would disable it myself, but it requires two people to do it. One person at the outpost to initiate the teleporter, and another person here to transmit a power surge to destroy it. I know it's a lot to ask, but you'll...
go to the other dimension, find the remote outpost, and initiate the startup sequence. You're our only hope of defeating this evil. I've got the teleporter ready to go. All you need to do is go into the chamber and initiate the sequence. I'll handle the rest from here. But before you go, I want to give you my personal account of what happened here. It explains everything. The advanced teleporter, how the madness started, everything. It's over there on the console. Please take it. The world needs to know the truth. And good luck. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. I have the teleporter sequence already configured. Just activate the main console. When you reach the outpost, I'll be able to communicate with you. Good luck. Systems activated. Teleportation will commence in T-minus three, two, one. 